Round two. So a good start for the south four from Dungiven, Caddy Derry, Paul Matlosky. And if he keeps it at that, and keeps it at range, then Bustos will be really up against it. The Argentine has not been able to bother Matlosky at all in the first three minutes. But it's scheduled for ten, so that's a half an hour of fighting. Plus the interval, so they're in the ring there for a half an hour. And then... But McCluskey's always been like this, cool, very calm, calculates well, makes his head very difficult to connect with, just the slightest movement of the head. And this is a jabbing exhibition. With the left hand being held just for the right shot. See him sticking up his elbow, that's typical McCluskey, taking shots on the elbow if they come. At a distance there is the Argentine, he just can't tag him at all really. While with the right hand over the top of McCluskey's head. But the Argentinian's fighting their own fight. I mean, he, 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 his feet are positioned all wrong. You have to make sure that your left foot is outside the, the right foot of the southpaw, because if it's not, you have no balance and you won't be able to get your punches off properly. And you leave yourself wide open to whatever the southpaw will throw at you. They're very, very, very difficult, these guys, to fight. You have to practice for weeks and months and months on end. You can see there from a couple of punches he got in that the Argentine is strong. He's bucking hard to the ground. Not a lot of, of movement on his feet. Klusky enjoys this, he loves it. Throws six right hands for one left and one good left and one good right. That's Matluski. He's a stylist. He's classy. Doesn't get himself hot and bothered. Got tagged with a left hook there from the Argentinian. McCluskey seems to drop that right hand down. But it's like a ten opener this right hand of McCluskey because he's just opening this guy wide open. He's just driving it through the Argentinian's defence here. Mind you, Bustos didn't get through with his own right hand there. Only McCluskey will know at this stage how much power is in it. Oh. But there's a left hook there from McCluskey. Almost took the head off the Argentine. Good stuff from McCluskey. Three, four punches getting through. Body, head. The Dungiven man completely on top. He switched now to Waterloo. Now back to South Fork. That's a cracking right hook to the body of McCluskey. So that's a punch that's going to win this fight because that's just wearing uh, the Argentine down. And these punches just sap your strength completely. And around to McCluskey's run. Round three, three Bustos of Argentina. McCluskey from Ireland, from Derry, from Dungiven in that county. Vinny Hargan was his coach. I wonder if Vinny's here tonight. I'm sure he is. When uh, he was St. Canis's was his amateur club in Dungiven. You know disputing where Bustos is from. Coming in with those colours on him. He's smaller in height and he's shorter in reach, so it's difficult. This right hand punching, this right hand leads the jab of Klosky is really good, really very good to watch. Bustos just hasn't come to terms with this uh, South Foss stance. He's, he's finding it very difficult to get in and to have success when he's throwing punches because the punches that he is that, that, that he is throwing are hitting the gloves, going around the side, you know, hitting the arms. He just can't get his time, he can't get the punches placed properly. Beginning to frustrate it from this, the left lead from McCluskey. Changed around, went left to lead. Now he's back to the right foot forward, right hand forward. Tried to set him up for a left hand, but Bushes is out last, out punched, and at this moment, well beaten. Good stuff from McCluskey. Has a cracking right hook there. Watch your heads. Watch your heads. Keep your heads. Boxing beautifully, Paul McCluskey. 
Got to think, had he stayed around, he would uh, be probably going to the Olympics as an amateur next year. Left hand there into Bustos, another left hand, and the Argentine's in trouble now. Stop and there's still a minute to go on it. He'd be doing well to get himself to the end of this because he's taken a lot of punches. Maybe not a great deal of punishment, but an awful lot of punches. Accumulation is enough. Jabbing on the south southpaw jabs of Matroski are at times a thing of beauty. But for Busto, certainly not a joy forever. Left hooking in from Matroski. Oh. Tries it again. Good solid shots by McCluskey. Great stuff. There's a bit of power there. He's really driving those shots home. Brilliant boxing and some wonderful punching by Paul McCluskey. Stop! Stop! Oh. Just keep the punches up, he's telling Bustos, who apologises to McCluskey, who accepts it. What else could he do? But that's the way to answer it, throwing that right and the left, and the bell goes. And McCluskey could have hit him again, but thought better of it. And he's winning this. Hands up. So the fourth round. McCluskey's fight so far, without a doubt. Most of it built on this South Pole right hand lead which has taken up residency on the face and body of Bustos. To the way he's covered up Matlowski, elbows out, gloves right across his chest bone. And he's just out boxing and out thinking Bustos. You can't see the Argentine and lasting this at all, can you, Dave? So the Argentine is hard, holding her and punching, though. That was unbelievable. The referee spotted that right on time, because he just, he held McCluskey's arm and hit him about three or four good shots there. It's a sign of frustration on the uh, uh, Bushtoff's uh, behalf, because he's getting frustrated. Frustrated. He can't get a, re a real good solid shot on McCluskey's chin. Kowski hooking the right hand in that time. And a foul with the left. It's only halfway, not even halfway through the fight yet. Because this one is scheduled for 10. Oh, it's a good left uppercut. A good solid shot by McCluskey. But the Argentine took it well. You have to give this guy credit. He He's took a tough that, that traveled right down to his boots, but he took it well. He's a tough boy, it's a country that has produced some wonderful fighters. I'm not suggesting for one moment that Bustos is way up in that stellar class. Oh, oh it's a right beautiful. hand! A right hand and Bustos oh. doubles up in pain. Look at the right foot of his dancing he's on not, the canvas. He's not, he's not up, going Jimmy. to fight anymore tonight. Paul Nutlusky is your winner. Dara, about body shooting, and there you are. It was a vicious, vicious right hook to the body. And we've talked before about which which is the worst to be knocked out by a headshot or a body shot, but the body shot most certainly is. You see it here again. It was a tremendous right hook. Got all his power, all the leverage that he wanted into it. And when you get that sort of shot, there is absolutely no way back. Oh, here it is again. Just rips it in time after time.